Welcome to Electron Line. Our next problem is actually quite interesting. Let's say that we want to lean the ladder up against the house, but there's an eight foot wall that we have to go over, and that wall is one foot away from the house. Probably not to code, but let's ignore that. How, what is the shortest length ladder that we can use, still reach the house, and get over that eight foot wall? Well, let's see here. We have a nice drawing and we can see that we're simply trying to find the shortest L possible. Notice that the height where the wall, the ladder touches the house is equal to H. The, the height of the wall is 8 feet. The distance from the wall to the house is 1 foot. And let's call the distance from where the ladder touches the ground to the wall, let's call that equal to X. So now we need to determine what's being maximized or minimized. So in this case, we're trying to minimize the length of the ladder. So then we need to find an equation for L. And we can say that L is equal to, now using Pythagorean theorem, we can say that's equal to the square root of the height squared plus this distance right here, which would be x plus 1 squared. Now ultimately, we're trying to find x. Once we find x, we can find h, and we can find the length of the ladder. But we have two variables here. We have h and x, which means we need to eliminate one of the two variables. For that, we need a constraint. All right, let's see here. We have two similar triangles. We have the small triangle right here, and we have the big triangle here. So we can say that the height of the big triangle to the width of the big triangle, that would be h divided by the total distance here, which is x plus 1, should be proportional to the ratio of the height of the wall to this distance here, which would be 8 over x. Which means I can solve this equation for h and then plug it into the equation right here. So let's do that. We can say that h is equal to 8 times x plus 1 divided by x, and that can go right in here. So that means that when we substitute, we now have a new equation for the length, which is equal to the square root of, that would be 64 times x plus 1 squared, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1, divided by the denominator, which is x squared. So that's 8 squared would be this quantity squared, which is right here, plus this quantity squared, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now we have a new equation that tells us the length of the ladder only in terms of x. And since we're trying to find the minimum length, we can take the derivative of this, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. Hmm. Before we do that, though, let's first divide this x squared into the numerator and see what we get. So we have L is equal to the square root of, and so that gives us 64. Divide this into that, that's twice 64, which would be plus 128 times x to the minus first power. And here we have plus 64 x to the minus 2 power. And we have plus x squared plus 2x and plus 1. I think now we're ready to take the derivative. All right, so L prime, uh, maybe I should, well, look, we can fit it in here. So L prime is equal to, well, this is the square root, so we have 1 half times the derivative of what's inside divided by the square root of this quantity right here. Now, I don't have to repeat that because ultimately, when we set the derivative equal to 0, we do not care about the denominator because whenever a fraction is equal to 0, only the numerator needs to be 0. So we're good there. So all we have to do now is take the derivative of every term inside the radical here. So the derivative of that is 0. The derivative of this would be minus 128 over x squared. Here we get uh, minus 128 over x cubed. Here we get plus 2x plus 2 and the derivative of that is equal to 0. So now we have the derivative of L prime, the length of the ladder, and now we're going to set it equal to 0 and solve for x. So I guess at this point this is step 6, and now we're on to step 7. We're going to set L prime 
equal to 0 and solve for x. So we get 0 is equal to 1 half times minus 128 over x squared minus 128 over x cubed plus 2x plus 2. And of course, right away, we can multiply everything by 1 half. That makes things a little simpler. So we get 0 is equal to minus 64 over x squared minus 64 over x cubed uh, plus x plus 1. To solve this for x, I think the best thing to do is to multiply both sides of the equation by x cubed. When we do that, we get the following. We get 0 is equal to minus 64 x minus 64 plus x to the fourth plus x cubed. And of course, if we put that in the right format with the highest power first, we get 0 is equal to x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 64 x minus 64. Looks like the x squared term is missing. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the root of that by using synthetic division. Thanks to a great input from my wife, I realize now that I can actually factor this. So I'm going to do that. I can factor out an x cubed out of the first two terms and a minus 64 out of the next two terms. So this is going to look as follows. So 0 is equal to x cubed times and that leaves us with x plus 1 minus 64 times, and it leaves us with x plus 1 again. And now I can factor out an x plus 1, so 0 is equal to x plus 1 times x cubed minus 64. Which means that either x plus 1 equals 0 or x cubed minus 64 equals 0. So that means x equals negative 1, or x is equal to, and it looks like 4. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So here are the two solutions. Now let's take a look at our first possible solution. x equals negative 1. That would put the bottom of the ladder right up against the house, and of course that would make it infinitely long, or zero length, depending upon which way you want to look at it, but definitely you couldn't clear the wall if you did that. So the only other option would be x equal 4, and that seems like a plausible answer. So if x is equal to 4, that would put the base of the ladder at 5 feet away from the house. We could clear the, we could clear the wall and reach the house with a minimum length ladder. Let's find out what that length then would be equal to if x is equal to 4. So we can say that L is equal to the square root of h squared plus, oh, and then one more thing, is I need to find h as well. So let's do that. So that would be 8 times 4 plus 1, which is 5, divided by 4. That's 2 times 5, which is 10. So h is 10 feet. And x is 4 feet, so that gives us h squared, which is 10 squared plus 4 plus 1, which is 5 squared. So L is equal to the square root of 125, which is equal to the square root of 25 times 5. In other words, the length of the ladder will be equal to 5 times the square root of 5 feet. Of course, if you want an absolute number on that, 5, take the square root, times 5 equals, and the ladder would have to be about 11.18 feet. To reach the house. And that is how we do a problem like that.